looking at here are sturgeon. They are large bottom feeding fish, sort of prehistoric looking. And you may or may not have noticed that they are eating money that has been thrown into this pond. Now most people don't realize that sturgeon do in fact eat coins. They don't eat um, things that would normally be found on the bottom of a lake or a creek or a river like other crustacea or grasses, things like that. They in fact eat money and because it's so hard for them to come by money in a free-flowing river, they have to be kept pinned up here at the Bonneville Dam um, in Oregon on the Columbia River where they are um, raised and then released into the wild after they're about 57 years old. Sturgeon are, as you can see by their shape, related to sharks. Um, other people think that they are related to catfish because they have that sort of bottom feeding look. Um, what is really fun is to noodle sturgeon, and that is where you catch them with your hand, and the sturgeon basically you know, eat your hand. And some people have been scarred for life by the, the teeth of them. Um, they also are often um, the roe, the eggs of the sturgeon, are used as a kind of false caviar for the poorer masses in the United States and in places like Russia where um, the sturgeon are becoming nearly extinct. In this pond behind me is a 65-year-old white sturgeon named Herman. Um, Herman is, weighs about 450 pounds and is 10 feet long. Um, like all sturgeon, he has four long projectiles growing under his chin called barbells. And with these, he lifts his food from the bottom of the pond that he lives in. Um, he also has a sort of bony projections along his side. Um, rather than gills like a normal fish, these are armor-like projections are called scooties. And they help him to move through the water easily um, in, in much the same way that you see a shark moving through the water. Um, these fish are, were originated in the Jurassic period. They're about 100 to 200 million years old, so they really do live a long, long time. And um, they're rather fascinating to see because you have a sense that you've been taken back to the dinosaur age. Um, their name, although it may sound familiar to some of you science fiction fans, are they, these fish are in no way related to Theodore Sturgeon, the science fiction uh, master, who, whose guiding premise was that 90% of everything is crap. <laughs>